All right, but what what if I told you that lease options are illegal in Texas? Ninety nine percent yes. Okay. I had an attorney draw it up specifically for these terms. Yeah, and he sent them the paperwork and they signed it. So I didn't yeah, know. That so, one. so lease options is another phenomenal exit strategy, similar to wraps. It can be a little bit confusing. What a lease option is, and then you can turn a lease option and shift that into a different model. A lot of it's it's so crazy, but like so just so you guys know, a lease option is when you say, "Hey, bro, you know what, guys, let let me." And yes, no, lease options are not illegal in Texas. Um, they just are highly frowned upon and they have specific laws in place. So let me quickly walk you through a lease option while you guys are here. So we got a house and you guys, we can sell this. Oh, wow. This is an ugly house. I already, I already messed this thing up. So you got an ugly house. All right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we could sell this house normally. We sell it on a wrap, but we want to decide we want to sell it as a lease option. So this house would rent for, let's say $2,000 a month. Okay or we could sell it for $300,000. Well, what we do is we say, hey, do you um, do you rent at a premium on a lease option, Cody? Or um, standard market rent? Just, just standard market rent based on the okay. condition of the house. Like this one, this one was tricky because it is a 2,800 square foot, um, what is it, like 1930s build, you know, big farmhouse build, got the, the nice yeah. wood siding, wow. tall walkway and all that. But yeah, that was, okay. I, I cheapened it. Now do you sell, and you usually sell at a bit of a premium. So let's just say you're renting at Santa Mark Rent. So what you do is you say, hey, uh, you the seller, I know you want to buy my house for 300,000, but maybe you can't buy it now. Maybe you need some time to get credit worthy. Maybe, you know, what, whatever reason. I was actually trying to set up a lease option here in Texas. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to set, set, set you up with a, you know, uh, a three-year lease, a 36-month lease, three-year lease at um, $2,000 a month. And it, let's say it increases 10% per year, whatever numbers you want to set up. And during that time, you have the option. This is why it's called a lease option. You have the option to buy my house at three hundred thousand dollars, and these things could change. You could say three hundred thousand dollars plus X, you know, per year or whatever. But the whole point is that you give the right to someone to lease your house. They have the right to lease your house for a period of time, and during that period of time, they have the right to execute the purchase. Right. So I don't know if you guys know a lot about stock trading or options. This is exactly what it is. It's it's an options trade. Okay, and these are sick. These are sick because why do we care as sellers? Why would we give the seller or why would we give the buyer this, this awesome right? Because they're going to pay for that right. They're going to give us a down payment for that right. And that down payment is non-refundable, right? Non-refundable usually goes towards the purchase price. So Cody, what, what kind of uh, option fee are you uh, charging people? 6%. Yeah, awesome. Typical you guys imagine option that. Fee, six, eight. That's insane. So we have a $300,000 house and someone's going to give us $18,000 for the right to have the option to buy our house over the next 36 months. And during that time, they're going to rent our house. That's sick. So I know some guys who only do lease options or some guys on Facebook, all they do is lease options. So what they do is they say, hey, you give me 18 grand, you have the right to buy my house in the next 36 months. Now they help them become credit worthy. They help them. They find them good letters. So then these guys become credit worthy, credit plus, and then they buy the house. And if they don't buy the house, well, they just made 18 grand. Now, is this usually go towards the purchase price, Cody? For me, yeah. The way I do it. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't have to, but it, it, it can or it should. Now, Texas hates that, right? So Texas, from my understanding, oof. Lease options get iffy after like three months. And then after like six months, you have to file like specific paperwork and you have a way to extend them to like two years. But it gets so tricky. Seek an attorney. Every other state, I think you're you're fine on. Texas is a oh my God. On lease options. Oklahoma is <laughs> Oklahoma is notorious for them. Everybody asks for it. It's it's the craziest thing. People will call really? you. Yeah. People will call you. Is this rent to own? more times and they're like are you actually mm -hmm. selling what is seller finance they're like is this rent to own i'm like no it's better it's better i'm financing it to you like you own it and then then half of them will still run off because they're afraid of ownership <laughs>